We got a little bit of lag here, but we should be going live with our Dragon Age Inquisition late night feature stream. It says there's a problem with the broadcast, but that's the standard. Sorry about the uh, rubbing around on the microphone, just setting up a couple of things here. So things seem now. Last night we started a uh, a warrior. There was a shield and uh, one-handed weapon user. A human. In the name of Maxwell. We're gonna be running with him again. I'm just waiting for things to connect to the servers, and it seems as though they have. Get your multiplayer fortune blessing. Hey, Cameron, how's it going? Thanks for joining us here. I'm gonna continue on with where we left off yesterday. got to rearrange the furniture again. I just switched things up and uh, looking here at the little camera preview I can find actually see it in the dashboard. Um, I'm doing pretty good. Sorry there was a little bit of a delay there that just came through the chat. Uh, I'm doing pretty good. I was up than I was last night. I ended up doing this one. Actually kind of uh, overslept today and missed my uh, my first broadcast time slot for the day and started my second one a little bit late but last night uh... what's next week's game of the week uh... we've recently switched things up. I'm not really doing the game of the week, so to speak, anymore. I'm going to be doing features, so it's just kind of I'll play a game until I finish it. Um, or unless I get really bored of it, which I'm hoping isn't the case. Um, but I know coming up, um, we do have... <clears throat> excuse me, we do have the, uh, the Handsome Collection coming out uh, on the 24th. So, I'm thinking that might be in there fairly soon. Bet it's Uno. If I had Uno, I'd definitely be doing that. That would be like, start my day with that instead of NHL. Do that for the late night feature. 24 hour Uno stream. Do a, a full 7 day binge of like 12 hours a day of just Uno. There's a treasure chest back there. Some elf root here. Alright, so we got a couple different places we can go. Sorry, I've just got to set my uh, my sound on night mode here. 24 hour stream of Uno. Yeah, that'd be... I have to alter... Do 24 hours on Uno, then like 12 of Uno after that. Okay, so I th guess we're going up here. Be my guess, because everybody's blocking the way. That's him. He stopped the breach from getting any bigger. I heard he was supposed to close it entirely. They were bowing before I even was there. It's kind of weird. Good luck sealing those rifts. And these people aren't bowing. These people need to make up their minds, really. 
They had plenty of time while I was passed out. Not the Chantry's decision. We'll make them decide on something here. I do not believe he is guilty. The prisoner failed. Seeker. Stand here with the ear to the door for a minute. Still in the sky. For all you know, he intended it this way. I do not believe that. Where'd my helmet go? I want him prepared for travel to the capital for trial. Disregard that and leave us. You walk a dangerous line, Seeker. The breach is stable, but it is still a threat. I will not ignore it. I tried. I did what I could. I did everything I could to close the breach. It almost killed me. Yet you live. A convenient result in so far as you're concerned. Have a care, Chancellor. The breach is not the only threat we face. Someone was behind the explosion at the Conclave. Someone most holy did not expect. Perhaps they died with the others, or have allies who yet live. I am a suspect? You, and many others. But not the prisoner. I heard the voices in the temple. The divine called to him for help. So his survival, that thing on his hand, all a coincidence. Providence. The Maker sent him to us in our darkest hour. Uh, Maker sent him to us in our darkest hour. Uh, yeah. What more you want? Stable now. What more do you want from me? Took care of it for the most part. We try again. The breach remains. And your mark is still our only hope of closing it. This is not for you to decide. You know what this is, Chancellor. A writ from the Divine, granting us the authority to act. As of this moment, I declare the Inquisition reborn. We will close the breach, we will find those responsible, and we will restore order with or without your approval. This is the Divine's directive. Rebuild the Inquisition of old. Find those who will stand against the chaos. We aren't ready. We have no leader, no numbers. And now, no Chantry support. But we have no choice. We must act now, with you at our side. Not the chosen one, but... We'll go with him for now. That is all we ask. Help us fix this before it's too late. Okay, uh, when I get my one, I'll add you and we'll get some games with you on, uh, on there and we'll stream together. That sounds good. Uh, what games are you looking into? I definitely recommend checking out Sunset Overdrive. It's just a fun experience. I haven't gotten into the multiplayer yet, but hopefully going to be doing that soon. I gotta get a hold of a couple people for that.
Hmm. I know you name some and I'll get them. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Stream like NHL and stuff. Yeah, I get some of the, uh, get like the online team going or something like that. Where you get like five people or something, or, yeah, you can have like five people playing on one team or something like that. So it was like an hour and a half last night, and we just got to the title screen. So now I gotta run around, speak with a few of these people. Oh, it's the eyeballs I want to talk to, that's right. Yeah, that sounds good. We'll, uh, once the time comes, we'll start talking details and stuff. Uh, also got a couple people that are looking to do some Destiny and stream it together and stuff like that, too. I'd appreciate you bringing it in. What did you mean when you mentioned requisitions? I'm making this Inquisition run with what we have, but we're not a real army. We're stretched thin on materials, so I've put up a requisition list for anything that could help our people. Here, take a look. You find some iron and a good logging site, maybe Harrit can get our troops better weapons. Okay, uh, what time are you streaming to? And I didn't get the game of the week. Had to answer text. Sorry. That's all good. Um, I'm hoping to go for two hours, if I can stay awake for all of it. Um, so that would put me to midnight central time. And game of the week, I'm not really doing uh, the game of the week, so to speak, anymore. I'm kind of uh, doing it more as features. So right now... Uh, during the afternoon, I do uh, Shadow of Mordor, and then I'm doing Dragon Age as the late night feature. Um, if I finish, uh, probably finish Shadow of Mordor within a week or two, but uh, from there, probably move on to the Handsome Collection. Uh, like I said, I'm not sure about the the timeline on that, but. That's probably going to be the next one. Uh, so the apothecary. Find recipes through exploration or by visiting merchants. Visit an apothecary with herbs you gather in the wilderness to upgrade potions. Excuse me. Um, use the equip station to sign different potions to each of your party members and to replenish the potions you are car carrying. Use the upgrade station to unlock permanent upgrades to your potions. Secret asked, told me. <laughs> Look who's back from the dead. Again. I don't recall meeting you before. I'd be surprised if you did. You weren't particularly coherent. Someone had to patch you up after you staggered out of making those wear, though. So, you're welcome. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. Well, you can pay me back by fixing the world. Name's Adan. I'm in charge of keeping our little band here stocked with potions and elixirs. Not that Seeker Pentagast seems to care whether we've got the supplies to actually do that. Is there anything I can do to help out? We're fine as far as raw labor goes. You've more important things to do than tend to me. 
I only wish I'd been able to find Master Tajin's notes. Old bastard was working on something special. He died at the Conclave, and his notes weren't here. Been too busy dealing with the wounded to look for them. Farewell. Let's see, potion upgrade. You can upgrade potions you already have unlocked. Or you have already unlocked to upgrade a potion, select a category, select a potion, then select the upgrade. Potion upgrades require a significant amount of herbs to unlock. In return, they give a permanent they give permanent and significant boost bonuses to your potions. Oh. Increase healing, so I could actually do that on my other one. I just have to collect elf fruit. Um, for as for streaming on the Xbox One, it's extremely easy. Um, you just do the double tap on the center button thing, and then uh, you do the. I don't want to say it, but the thing where it puts a program to the side. I don't want to say it just because I do have the camera set up and it'll pick me up or pick it up and mess me up on this one. But then you put Twitch over there. Uh, set your title for it, for your broadcast, um, go to your settings, you get a recommendation. It's best to do a quick little power cycle kind of thing before you do your stream and then get your recommendation every time and then go with that. Depending on your, uh, your upload, you might be able to, well, it, that'll determine kind of your quality. Um, Thanks for checking anyway. I'm currently bouncing kind of between, it seems like, 1,371 kilobits per second and 1,400. So right around the medium quality range. Before, when I was streaming, I was only able to do uh, low quality. But I think... With this little boost, it seems to have a bit better effect on the quality of it. But it, it's really easy to do. Um, one thing I would recommend, though, like I, I've heard that the uh, the standard headset that comes with the console is pretty good. But I've got, you can see my controller is a little bit bulkier. I've got the stereo headset adapter. And then I'm using an auxiliary, like a different stereo headset. It gives. It was. It's nice for being able to play at night. I can throw the headset on. Can use it for party chat and stuff like that. Although I don't do too much of that right now. But um. Uh, da -da -da -da. It, it helps with the audio quality a bit. I've been told that this one sounds pretty nice. You know, I know there's all these books and notes and stuff. I'm just kind of skimming over a little bit. Uh, what's the name of which? Like the the thing for the audio? The headset I'm currently using is uh, 
the Turtle Beach Air Force PX-22. Um, it has a, a line amplifier for it, but I need to get another cable to be able to work it properly. And Quite frankly, it's just a pain for right now, so I'm just using the straight-through cable. But it's pretty decent. It gives nice sound for when playing games. Can you help improve my arms and armor? Yes. You find a new piece, a pauldron or greaves, we'll take care of you. You can't just slap a new hilt on your sword in the field. Bring it here, we'll make sure it's done right and proper. If I want something, what can you make? Start simple. Something to keep you safe. Take a look at it on the table there and we can talk. You'll need materials. We should have what you want just outside. Goodbye. Right. And I'm also actually... I know they, uh... They recommend... Uh, oh, modification. Upgrading an item adds the upgrade stats to the item stats in addition to changing its appearance. For example, attaching a hilt with plus three cunning bonus to a sword adds bo this bonus to the sword. Uh, you can freely remove and add existing upgrades or exchange them between different items. New upgrades can be crafted in crafting stations. Alright. So I added... did I add that? Oh, I have to... craft it first, don't I? No, that's weapons. Uh-oh. No, I don't want to talk to you. Loot the boxes. There we go. There, that's ah, that's what I was looking to do. Um, it says quest complete. Do I actually have to turn that in somewhere? Um, let's see, journal. Okay, Lux, sorry, how do you get more emblems? I forget. Where's your wife and stream crashed? Ah. Well, I'm glad things are back up. Hopefully, uh, it was just a minor technical hiccup. And I just realized a second ago I forgot to, uh, 
to set my stopwatch thing. So I don't know when my uh, when my highlights are gonna be. So this is gonna be fun later on. It'll make for a long night. It's all good now. Okay, cool. Yeah, I still got that little stretch bar across the bottom. It almost look like looks like it's gotten bigger. I wonder if like depending on how long the stream goes, if it'll keep expanding and encompass the whole screen. Not really. What's important is that your mark is now stable, as is the breach. You've given us time, and Solas believes a second attempt might succeed, provided the mark has more power. The same level of power used to open the breach in the first place. That is not easy to come by. What harm could there be in powering up something we barely understand? Hold on to that sense of humor. You've met Commander Cullen, leader of the Inquisition's forces. It was only for a moment on the field. I'm pleased you survived. This is Lady Josephine Montelier, our ambassador and chief diplomat. I've heard much. It's a pleasure to meet you at last. And of course, you know Sister Liliana. My position here involves a degree of... She is our spymaster. Yes, tactfully put, Cassandra. That's an impressive bunch of titles. I mentioned that your mark needs more power to close the breach for good. Which means we must approach the rebel mages for help. And I still disagree. The Templars could serve just as well. We need power, Commander. Enough magic poured into that mark. Might destroy us all. Templars could suppress the breach, weaken it, so... Pure speculation. I was a Templar. I know what they're capable of. Unfortunately, neither group will even speak to us yet. The Chantry has denounced the Inquisition, and you specifically. Can't you simply ignore them? If only that were possible. Some are calling you the Herald of Andraste, and that frightens the Chantry. The remaining clerics have declared it blasphemy, and we heretics for harboring you. Chancellor Roderick's doing, no doubt. It limits our options. Approaching the Majors or Templars for help is currently out of the question. So if I wasn't with the Inquisition... Well, let's be honest, they would have censured us no matter what. And you not being here isn't an option. There is something you can do. A Chantry cleric by the name of Mother Giselle has asked to speak to you. She is not far and knows those involved far better than I. Her assistance could be invaluable. There's a spider flying around on a little web. She's asked for me. You don't think that could be an ambush? I doubt it. From what I know of her, she's a kind soul and not the sort to involve herself in violence. You will find Mother Giselle tending to the wounded in the hinterlands near Redcliffe. Look for other opportunities to expand the Inquisition's influence while you're there. We need agents to extend our reach beyond this valley, and you're better suited than anyone to recruit them. In the meantime, let's think of other options. I won't leave this all to the Herald. Okay, so the war table allows you to apply the power of the Inquisition uh, throughout Orleus and Ferelden, uh, Mother Giselle, and in the hinterlands. 
which can be found in the Ferelden side of the table. So let's go there. The Inquisition can unlock new areas for you to explore through scouting operations. Perform the scouting operation for the Hinterlands on the Ferelden side of the war table now. Alright. What have your ears heard, Leliana? Anything new we don't already know about? No, nothing. Mother Giselle was last seen in the hinterlands outside Redcliffe, tending to refugees who fled the fighting between uh, renegades and uh, renegade Templars and apostate. Um, well, let's see, an apostate mage. As the latest reports uh, suggest that the vicious struggle between the two groups has spread uh, to the hinterlands, causing or catching the refugees and Mother Giselle in the middle. It's vital to protect her and, if possible, restore order to the area. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we have to use secrets on that one. Easy enough. Pretty brutal out there. Well, I appreciate the help, Cameron. That's cool. Right, we're just just trying to start off on the the new schedule and get things kicked into gear here a little bit. I am going to be looking for work soon, just got my social number there, so I'm going to have to apply for jobs starting this week, so I may not be streaming as many days, but I still want to try and keep up with it. Okay, so, so oh, that's quite a bit, um, but uh, we avoided the fighting the best we could. It's every bit as bad as we feared. Um, the apostates are mad, attacking anything that moves. And it appears that the Templars here aren't following anyone's orders any longer. Located Mother Giselle and are trying to protect her, but she refuses to leave the refugees. We've ensured their safety, um, or until we've ensured their safety. That'll be hard to do without the troops to push the apostates and the Templars out of the area. Commander Cullen asked me to make inquiries of Master Dennett, a retired horse master of Redcliffe, who lives in the area. We tried to contact him about obtaining better horses for the Inquisition, but we've been able, unable to get through the fighting. Lead Scout Harding. All right. Would you like to gather your party and venture to the Hinterlands now? Yes, I would. Let's get Cassandra. Eric Solis. Sorry. Spine is tensing up. I gotta crack it and whatnot. Ugh. Sitting on that center pillow for too long. Slide my whole setup over. Harold of Andraste. I've heard the stories. Everyone has. We know what you did at the breach. It's an honor to meet you, my lord. Inquisition Scout Harding, at your service. I, all of us here, 
We'll do whatever we can to help. <laughs> Harding, huh? Ever been to Kirkwall's High Town? I can't say I have. Why? You'd be Harding and I... No, <laughs> never mind. Ugh. What's the situation out here in the hinterlands? We came to secure horses from Redcliffe's old horse master. I grew up here, and people always said that Dennett's herds were the strongest and the fastest this side of the Frostbacks. But with the Mage Templar fighting getting worse, we couldn't get to Dennett. Maker only knows if he's even still alive. Mother Giselle's at the crossroads helping refugees and the wounded. Our latest reports say that the war spread there too. Corporal Vale and our men are doing what they can to help protect the people, but they won't be able to hold out very long. You best get going. No time to lose. All right, so now pretty much out in the open. See, when you get streaming, you have that in the background. Put it on like a wall behind you or something. Um, now, how am I... Where am I gonna go here? Requisition officer has something for us. Something here. Okay, I'm gonna travel back to there. I was just kind of running around in circles. That's not really uh, doing too much. So our requisition officer is down here. This might interest you, sir. What is it? See for yourself, sir. Nothing to report, sir. Nothing to report? Alright. Dresser desk thing. So you can have like your stuff on top of it and have the storage as well. That'd be kind of a cool way to do it. Need Ferelden locks for that. Oops. Let's go here to the threat remains. Nothing to report, sir. Well, I guess I'm gonna have to Nothing go the long way. I was just trying to jump over the rocks, but. Always a pleasure to talk to the requisition officer. He never has anything to report. Watch your step. Oh, we got a treasure chest over here. Balanced dagger grip. All right. And it seems as though That's a character record. There we go. Uh, the further you lunge before striking your target, the more damage you do to them. Damage bonus 75%. At 5 meters, damage bonus 250% at 10 meters. 
Uh, turn the blade any blow you can see. You can turn aside. All damage coming from the front is reduced. It's a nice little bonus. I think I will go for the damage bonus, though. Let's see. Using techniques perfected by or uh, Elysian Cavaliers can't be flanked by enemies, and you're less likely to be staggered when hit from the front. All right, get that for her. Oh, she has two. Shield bash. Sure, there we go. Um, let's see. First blood. Learn to pick apart the enemies that are still unwounded and wary. You do more damage to enemies. They're only lightly injured. Let's do that one. Oh, I didn't apply it. Whoops. There we go. Alright, we'll see you in a minute, man. Explosive shot. Revark. So Solus already has a barrier. Elegant defense. You've learned to cast a barrier with a more stable magical pattern. Each time, uh, each time a barrier you have cast expires, it, the ability's cooldown time is reduced. Well, that's always a handy one. Guardian Spear to protect a barrier springs into place around you automatically when you are badly injured. Barrier, 100% cooldown time, 60 seconds. Oops. Probably should have gone with that peaceful aura. It's a handy one. It reduces your threat level. So for your mages, they're less likely to it. Well, if you are a mage, they're less likely to attack you. Mother Giselle should be somewhere nearby. Now let's see. I'm just gonna run right for this quest here. Forces. They're trying to protect the refugees. Looks like they could use a hand. Hang on. We gotta get the Alfred first. Oh, I didn't realize I had a barrier on. Well, I kinda did, but. Hold. We are not apostates. I do not think they care, Seeker. That dash strike thing is brutal. It only takes uh, 10 meters to get two and a half times damage on there. All sorts of explosions going on in here. Crazy. Combat is so slow with these guys, though. I'm used to my rogue jumping around, having to actually duck in and out of battle a little bit.
The influence is increased for the area. Always a good thing to see. a little bit, use that lunge. There are mages here who can heal your wounds. Lie still. Don't... Let them touch me, mother. Their magic is... Turn to noble purpose. Their magic is surely no more evil than your blade. What? <clears throat> Hush, dear boy. Allow them to ease your suffering. Mother Giselle? I am. And you must be the one they are calling... The Herald of Andraste. Cool. Thanks, man, for the Twitter post. Uh, let's see. I was just readjusting things. Kind of get my neck feeling a little better. Not through any choice of mine. <laughs> we still don't have much say in our fate. I'm sad to say. So you agree with them? I don't presume to know the Maker's intentions, for any of us. But I did not ask you to come simply to debate with me. Then why am I here? I know of the Chantry's denouncement, and I am familiar with those behind it. I won't lie to you. Some of them are grandstanding, hoping to increase their chances of becoming the new Divine. Some are simply terrified. So many good people, senselessly taken from us. And that's an excuse? They're making things worse. They don't know that. This is my point. Go to them. Convince the remaining clerics you are no demon to be feared. They have heard only frightful tales of you. Give them something else to believe. They want to execute me, and you think I should just walk up to them? You are no longer alone. They cannot imprison or attack you. They could try. Let me put it this way. You needn't convince them all. You just need some of them to doubt. Their power is the unified voice. Take that from them, and you receive the time you need. It's good of you to do this. I honestly don't know if you've been touched by fate, or sent to help us, but I hope. Hope is what we need now. The people will listen to your rallying call, as they will listen to no other. You could build the Inquisition into a force that will deliver us, or destroy us. I will go to Haven and provide Sister Leliana the names of those in the Chantry who will be amenable to a gathering. It is not much, but I will do whatever I can. Corporal Vale is coordinating oh. the Inquisition's efforts in the area. We should speak with him. Alright, so, as you can kind of see here, I'm making this guy into a little bit of a skeptic about, uh, 
his abilities and how things go. Um, when I've played other characters, what I typically do with them is make it so they're like, oh, well, I was sent by the Maker, and oh, Holy Divine, and whatnot. So this guy, he's a little bit more skeptical, but still kind of thankful for the help he receives. Seems to be fairly steadfast in some of some of the things, accepting that this is his fate, but skeptical as to uh, kind of what's behind it. And that's kind of how I see it so far. The mages and templars don't seem to care who gets caught in their war. The refugees here are in dire need of help. If the war doesn't kill them, cold or starvation will. What can you tell me about the man who's supposed to be getting horses for the Inquisition? Horsemaster Dennett. He lives on a farm to the west. Tough old fella. We haven't heard from him. Best we can tell, he's old up until the Majors and Templars are done killing each other. Farewell. And you as well. I confess, Solas, I am surprised you decided to remain. Why? The breach remains a threat to us all. Just the same. I wondered if you might leave now that we have a plan to seal it. Ah, because I am an apostate. I might flee before the Inquisition throws me in chains. I take my commit. But seriously, Seeker. Come what may, I shall see this through. As you wish. Though I cannot guarantee what will happen in the days to come. So, set up camp or keep moving? skull illuminates certain objects in the distance. I am not familiar with such magic. Of course, it had to be a skull that lights up creepy shit.
Look at this. The apostates have gone mad with power. I see just as many Templars.
No normal wolf would fight with such determination. The breach may have driven them mad. Or perhaps a demon took command of the pack. This would be a good place to set up camp. This must be the horse master. There must be something here. You'll be wanting to speak with my husband. So you're the Inquisition, eh? Here you're trying to bring order back. It's high time someone did. Didn't expect it to be some free marcher's noble, though. Name's Dennett. I served Arl Eamon for 30 years as horsemaster. I hear your Inquisition is looking for mounts. It is. Can you help us? Not at the moment. 
I can't just send a hundred of the finest horses in Ferelden down the road like you send a letter. Every bandit between here and Haven would be on them like flies on crap. You'll have mounts once I know they won't end up as a cold winter's breakfast. That sounds more than reasonable. Glad to hear it. My wife Elena manages the farms and Bronze in charge of my guards. They'll tell you what they need. Until then, you deserve something better than whatever knock-kneed plow neck they gave you. The chestnut over there is a purebred Ferelden forder. Take care of him, and he'll take care of you, Inquisition. Alright, so now we have... We should have... A horse somewhere around here. Let's talk to the farm hand people. Well, this family, I guess. If you want our horses, then we need our farmers back safe in their fields. Since the breach appeared, the wolves have gone mad. They come after our men like beasts with the water sickness. You deal with the wolves, and our farmers will be safe again. Farewell. Good day to you. It's fairly straightforward. We'll kill us some wolves. Oops. Um, oh, I can go here too. That's up there. All right. Oh, first I should get my horse. Things will go a lot quicker once we have the horse. Fancy trying out one of my courses? I'll speak with you later. Yeah, we'll do that one later. Left stick to gallop, B to dismount, uh, summon your mouse, your mount, not your mouse, your mount, left bumper to open up the wheel. Alright, let's go. It was a weird jump. Fairly poorly timed, but it kind of worked. It's a dead end route that I normally accidentally take. You mean like the the K I K one? Yeah, kick. Yeah, I'm on that one. Uh, it should be just N F and M. I haven't done the Snapchat thing. I don't know about that one. It must have been some time since the renegade Templars faced a mage of any talent. It's weird. It doesn't show that you're mod for like the first couple of things that you put in. Yeah, it, it takes a second for it to register. It does that with everybody. I'm not sure why that's the case, but but it does it eventually registers. Over 2500. Okay, um, 
Give me a sec here. Uh, what have we got up here? Failure to deliver. Let's get that one because we're right here. Just give me one second here. Oh, what did I open? This one. Um... Big fan of the Sens. They are... They're a fairly decent team. I've been on their side for quite a while. Used to be really intense about them, but... Kind of... I've been a bad Canadian. Haven't been, uh... Haven't been following hockey as much, but usually around the playoff time. You know, I'll pick it back up, look into the papers, read box scores, see how people are doing. Oh. We got something back here. Is that the one? I think that's the one I just set it for. Quest map. Yeah, there we go. That's the one I tried to set it for, and apparently it didn't go. So it wouldn't show it when I was standing right there, but... There we go. So we completed that one. Oh, we got a bear right there. I'd rather not attack it right now. Probably going to end up attacking it. Rift's on the farm, eh? Um, I gotta try and get to that trouble with wolves one. I keep hitting, like, the back or select button. Thinking that it's gonna actually open my map, but it's never the case. It only works with, like, every other game out there. One touch to open your map. Now I'm going back. Oh, shoot. And they're all fighting the bear. Oh, the bear's fighting me. Okay. back up a bit more before I'm doing that dash thing. Oh, wow. Who would have guessed it? Bears hit hard. Still remember the first couple of bears I fought in Skyrim. Those used to be scary. Um, the other one is... exclamation follow.
I forgot I leveled up, didn't I? She died. Whew. Oh, I gotta hold it, I guess. Whoops. Alright, I know I've been gaining power. Yeah, I got one skill point to spend. To get one of those ring things that uh, I can reset the skills. So I don't like how I've done it so far. Thinking I'll just go Vanguard. Yeah, because that one's got the shout. Um, guard per enemy, 20% cooldown, cost 35. Armor bonus, uh, untouchable defense. You can't kill what they can't hit. Get a bonus to your maximum guard. Which leads to, it'll cost you, which gives you like a thorns thing. I think I'm going to increase my guard. That's my other one over here. Cutting words, your party does more damage to taunted targets as you battle your enemies' nerves and goad them into mistakes that leave them open. So that would be an interesting one to go for. Today I was chilling with some friends and we were walking the whole time. We walked a total of like 21 to 30 kilometers in four hours. Jeez. Yeah, that'd be a little rough on the on the old legs there. Good exercise though, better than sitting around all day. That's like f a little well, about five and a quarter to seven and a half kilometers an hour. Pretty good for just kind of wandering around. Shoot, I can't get over there. I'm just gonna go this way and see what happens. Helping the refugees. It seems no one else will. Got a treasure chest, aggressive bow, potions belt, scout armor. Back of the knee. Oh, that's never good. Your knee locks up, can't walk properly. Or at least it, uh, it's definitely a strain to walk properly. Yeah. <laughs> I could imagine, man. When we did the the move here, it's there's nothing like almost 30k, but uh, just throwing around furniture and stuff, reorganizing, moving stuff around for the next couple of days. I just my thighs just like locked up, just for tense the entire time for about the next day and a half. Well, of course, we had to go pick up little things that we didn't have yet. It's like walking around the, the store, just kind of leaning on the cart. 
push a little bit with the feet. Modified cart skateboard kind of maneuvering. I should probably go get some potions. I used them up uh, not very sparingly. The apostates have fled to the hills. Hey, some fennec fur, finally. Which follows... Can I, uh... Sure I can do the jump thing over it, but... I'll take the long way for the sake of it. Get some elf fruit. I didn't check to see how much elf fruit I got. Requires a mage. All right. That's not normal fire. I have heard of this, but never seen it before. It is called veil fire. It is a form of sympathetic magic, a memory of flame that burns in this world with a veil as thin. So we're taking the magical fire with us. Magical fire is the only kind of fire we got. Oh, that's not good. Ow. Probably was not a good place to go into right now. Especially flying pretty much blind with no potions. And what is this? Ah, my torch. Yeah, flying blind with absolutely no potions. Um, let's see what. what? What we have in the old inventory. Maybe we have something different in the weapons. Now that's two handed battle axe, sledgehammer is two hander. Slots on them, but uh, I can toss that one on. that one on him. 
I haven't gone through my uh, through my inventory in a while, as you can tell. It was some decent uh, upgrades here for some of them. There we go. Um, she's missing a helmet, though. Oh, I don't have another helmet. I will at some point. Three of them low on health. Not a good place to be in, and it looks like we may have... I get the feeling that there's enemies coming up. I don't know if it'll be a big battle, but... For Elden Captain Longsword. Oh, they all have skill points too, whoops. That one's equipped by... A lower percentage bonus to attack, but it has a higher base damage. So it ultimately balances out, if not gives the other one a little bit of an advantage. Oh, I did his points already. Let's do that for her. I'm gonna play around. It's gonna jumble them up and uh, make them not the most effective they can be. So they're not going to be super spec right away, but as soon as I can get those rings that will reset all their skill points, then I'll go back and kind of respec them how I want to see, like how... Uh... And set them up the right way. Like, I don't like having long shot on them. I'd rather have the explosive shot and already be at pin cushion, but... You know, we'll get there. Um, Solus, we want him to have the peaceful aura. Reduces threat by 50%. Because he does throw some attacks out there, so he generates a little bit of threat. But if we can reduce that, then that's always a bonus. Let's see. I keep forgetting. I don't know why I keep forgetting you can jump. I really like that they added that in, in this addition to the series. Interacting somehow with the flame from the torch. There we go. We got a frost rune. And it looks about like that's what's down here. Alright, so you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go ahead and go, uh, Quest map, how do we do that? Oh, world map, there we go. So I'm going to go back to Haven. Travel out a bit. I'm going to get the actual... Um, I should have enough to be able to get those ring things. If I can only get a couple of them, then I'm going to set up, um... Shoot, what's her name? Cassandra. And I'll set up Maxwell as well, our main hero.
All right. Just bear with me for just a couple of moments here. Oh, it's the necklace. That's right. I like how the first one's only a coin. Excuse me. Carbonated beverages. Um, let's see. Now, don't you worry about that sort of thing, girl. So I'm going to equip... Oh, I forgot about the accessories. Um, potions belt. One extra potion. Oh, increases the maximum capacity of each non-healing potion by specified amount. I don't actually have a... Uh... Oh, and it's item level 10 as well. That sucks. Um... Valuables. I guess I can sell all those, get a little bit of extra money. I forgot, you have to be level 10 to be able to use that, uh, the Tactician's Renewal. But we've got enough that we'll be able to, uh, Have the arm upgrades available. It's fifty six DPS. Uh, what do these ones do? Crafting. Each crafting schematic has one or more slots. Each slot accepts specific number materials of either leather cloth, metal cloth, or leather. Uh, fill all available slots to craft. And let's see. Each crafting material has predetermined stat and value for each possible of the final value of the stat. Uh, is determined by multiplying the value of the number of materials placed in the slot. So I don't have enough to make one that will increase attack. So. Okay, well the whole reason I went... Actually, you know what? I'm gonna go, and go ahead and grab another one of those for when I do hit level 10, then I'll be able to just do that in the field. Oh, whoops. I don't have to talk to him. I need to go over here. Let's see. Quest map. Um, world map again. Actually, wait a minute. I forgot, I can do my, uh... I'm gonna run up here. Real quick, seeing as I'm in Haven, I'll set some missions up, send some people out and whatnot. Let her die. Shut your mouth, mate! Enough! Knight Captain! That is not my title. We are not Templars any longer. We are all part of the Inquisition. 
And what does that mean exactly? Back already, Chancellor. Haven't you done enough? I'm curious, Commander, as to how your Inquisition and its Herald will restore order as you've promised. Of course you are. Back to your duties, all of you. Alright, we can talk to Colin for a long, drawn-out conversation. But instead, we're just going to run through. Go to our, uh... Our table here. So you now have access to missions. Mission operations take time and bring the Inquisition's resources and rewards. Only one mission per advisor can be active at a time. Some missions have a preferred type, uh, which results in less time required when undertaken by associate advisor. Missions may also provide different rewards depending on which advisor completes them. Well, let's see what we can do. We don't have many er over here. If I offend the man so easily, perhaps he should try leaving me alone. It was required power four for that one. So the gather coin one is always available. Let's see, um... Wish to convey your deepest sympathies and death and divine Justinia the Fifth. Uh, the most holy was incomparable in her wisdom and dedication uh, to peace, and we had high hopes that her conclave would succeed. Hold the vigil in her higher remembrance of Justinia. Cordially invite the Inquisition to attend. Um. So we should send a diplomatic attaché and some of the Templars who knew the Divine. Uh, I know Noom and I knew Justinia. I can't attend, but I could write to him. We have another Ferelden offer, officers. We could send an honor. Uh, you know what? Let's send Josephine. Seems like it's a more respectful thing to do. It takes a little bit longer. Instead of just writing a letter or uh, sending somebody who happens to be in the area. Um, let's see. Address a nobleman's concern. Your Inquisition says it's for order against chaos. Reason in darkness. If you stand by this, come forth and drive the heretics from my lands. They claim to be refugees, but I've seen elves and apostates among them, filthy savages tearing at our roots. Our monarch refuses to send forth armies, and my own knights were decimated at the conclave. I require your aid to return peace to my lands. Prove your loyalty, and I will see you highly rewarded for your faith. Hmm. So... Uh, we could send a few patrols, but I would prefer they help the refugees, not this Lord Kildarn. Uh, or we can take advantage of his raving. My spies can harass the refugees into moving somewhere else uh, to win Lord Kildarn's favor. So I'm liking her approach better. Uh, let's see busy deal with relatives he's the only one we have left so a letter from an inquisition diplomat to advance uh, ambassador 
Montelier, uh, dear Lady Montelier, is it? It is true. Distant relations of the House of Trevelyn uh, are claiming close friendship with the Herald of the Andraste. A boast is one matter, but the boundaries of tact and decent. And decency appear to be invisible to these mountebanks. Mountebanks? Uh, during a ball in the south quarter, I witnessed a cousin five times removed from Lord, uh, from the Lord threatened to have the Inquisition fight his rival. He quickly left the party after I made connection with the Inquisition clear. But the problem stands. We must deal with Harold's relatives, taking his name in vain. Uh, Inquisition isn't a name to throw around lightly. We should de openly denounce these people. Easy enough. Right. Not only was the he the last one there, he had a fairly sensible solution for it. So, we'll go with that one. Now that we have all that set up... Let's, uh... Go ahead and world travel when not in a dungeon. You can use the quest map to reveal distant locations, blah, 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 the way that we did it before. So we'll do it again. And I think we'll travel to... We'll go to the place on the farm. We'll take Cassandra, Varus, and Solus. Oh no, not remove all. Confirm. There we go. The other button that's at the top of the controller. Excuse me for a moment. Getting a little chilly, so I'm going to toss on another layer of green because it is St. Patty's Day I didn't have a drink today because I knew I'd be streaming all day I was waiting till I finish the stream up tonight then I'll have a quick drink and sort out highlights and get all of my additional after show or after broadcast work done up Uh, and I'd just like to say thank you to anybody, uh, to everybody, well, everybody who's, uh, been tuning in, checking it out. Uh, if you've enjoyed it so far, please hit that follow button. Not obligated to by any means, but it, it helps out with things. Um, do a couple different streams throughout the day. Try to get an NHL stream, I'm doing Shadow of Mordor. Uh, tomorrow, well, in a few hours, in about 12 hours, um, and then we'll be back to Dragon Age again after that. Um, I don't want to talk to her. I don't know why I ran up that way. Okay, I'm going to attack my target, disengage, call, clear commands, hold position. That's kind of cool. It seems like they changed that up a little bit from what it was at one point. And I'm hoping everything's still running smoothly on the stream. I've been checking things over in the dashboard and it looked all right. Went from excellent to acceptable, which isn't cool. Apparently it's not set at a constant bit rate, but There we go. Got ourselves a rift right here. It's been a while since we've attacked anything.
tried to disrupt it. It didn't didn't seem to work there. and closed up here. There we go. Nope. Still on the loot screen. I thought I had already... Uh, Pick that stuff up? Guess not. Down, that's that waterfall. We were through here not that long ago. Couldn't quite catch the ram on that one. Let's see, let's just go up this way. Um, What's the cave we were in? Okay. So we're pretty much where we left off last time. Some blood lotus, some more iron. Sorry, backtracking a little bit here. Gotta gather some supplies for crafting and alchemy and whatnot. Oh, backtracking, but also heading towards where we were looking for. Perfect. What's this? So, Astrarium. Astrariums allow you to unlock the secrets of the heavens, recreate the image of, constel of a constellation by connecting the stars without making the same line twice. I were to wager. Try that one. To that one. 
to that one, to there. Oh. <laughs> well, that's not going to work, is it? Start with there, to there, to there. I missed that starting point. There we go. The old dragon boat thing. Got that cave. Letter from a lover? Sure, let's go down that way. I'm just gonna kinda start looking for things that link, seem like they link together a little bit. In terms of uh, where we are on the map. I th think I should have continued up where I was. Come on now. Yeah. I hit B too many times in a row. Should have a road or something up here. Oh well, no, there we go. There. Note found on a corpse. It'll be worth it. You worry too much. I've seen you hunt. You and that bow go together like the maker and Andraste's sweet bosom. Uh, there's nothing in this world that'll keep breathing after you take your axe to it. And believe me, once you've gotten enough bear claws, and remember, they need to, uh, they need to be big. Really good sized ones. I don't want you coming back with some cub slashers and a sad dog grin on your face. Uh, we'll make something that will make both of us rich. Think of the girls in Redcliffe hanging on your arm. Uh, Burgrit, uh, it's a strong arm. Uh, my friend, strong enough to kill three big bears and bring those claws back. Take care of that, and that arm will have a nice lady to wrap around at night. Uh, good luck. Don't come back without the bear claws. So now... We should have something that... Something about hunting bear claws. Well, hunting bears to gather claws. Kind of weird to just hunt bear claws. Um, should be a landmark up there. Oh, I gotta... Actually, make a marker. Landmark is up there. I don't think I can get to it in that way. There might be something up over this way. 